5.30 in the a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's when I make most of my glass. So this morning is going to be a tutorial on a Dipro Galaxy Eye. I know y'all be the other name. So anyway, we will start with our supplies. Take, I start with some gorgeous Dicro rod pre-encased by Colorado Color Company. We have our Cymax, uh, we'll say 19 mil base. <clears throat> some tools here. We've got some, uh, some diamond shears. We've got some pinchers if we go that route. We've got some graphite marbles if we decide. That sounds like a good idea too. We've got an assortment of colors used in the past. As you guys know, my, my, my shop is, uh, it's, it's not organized, it's not clean, you know, uh, it's lived in, you know, you know, it's just, uh, I just don't make money when I be cleaning, so, anyway, uh, we will get this thing going. First we get that base, nice and warm. It's always a good idea to come in and clean up the end. As we see, there's some, some bubbly looking stuff on there, which will show up in the lens of the piece if we don't get rid of it. hot so I can pick up my little piece of dicro cane. Sharpen the flame up so I can twist dichro part immediately after fusion. I'll do a little bit of flexing here. I don't know if it's actually doing anything or not, but I've produced some really nice looking dichro work doing that. I like to um, just kind of heat up the front, which will be the lens down the road, and just let the uh, let the dichro spiral collapse down, so that you still maintain a bit of the structure of the helix inside there. Even though I can tell I let it fall off the side, hopefully it will still show up. And I'm going to use Galaxy. The color called Galaxy. I believe it's from North Star. To uh, the back. I like Galaxy because it itself has some shimmer to it, so it kind of adds to my space effect. And also, it doesn't really burn, so. I've had a issues here and there with 
various blacks, getting a haze on them. So I'll have a nice piece, good clarity, all that. You turn it over, really hazy back on it. Such a letdown. So this galaxy seems to be Mobetta for avoiding that issue. Just kind of let that let that lens melt into itself. This is a part where you must execute patience. Patience is your finest virtue as a glass artist. Allow gravity to be your friend. Do not battle gravity because you will not win. Okay, so you let this cool a bit. As you can see, it's already kind of see the see the cloud action inside there. I'm gonna pick uh, num, 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 num. let's do that dark blue slime as my lid. You can already tell. I collapsed the spiral to the side a little bit, but that's good. It's good for you guys to see this. So now I just I have to uh, correct where my lids are going to be placed because the spiral is offset to the side as I was afraid it would be during the beginning stages. That's the other thing about being a glass blower. It's not always about your creativity, etc., etc. It's about how you can respond to unexpected things like that. Is the piece scrapped? No. Nay, I say. We just, we just adapt and we make it work. This top lid, the last last pass is the most critical. You want to um, <clears throat> you want to leave a good bit of glass up here and get it all melted in, and just kind of plan to use your graphite marver paddle to just get this guy all shaped up nicely. I'm sure you know a lot of glass blowers like to. Um, be as tool free as possible when creating things, which I support that. I just tend to want to make things as quickly as I can. Not necessarily a good trait, but it is what it is. Yeah, it's just not too bad. Not my best, not my worst. can see you just want to kind of get a get a good general shape and then you can come through and you can do the final finishing touch shaping tasks and take as little or as much time with this phase as suits your fancy I'm going to do for a handle. Do a uh, color called seriously. That is a it's called a CFL color. So that means this color will change between fluorescent lighting and LED or natural lighting.
I believe it turns to more of a, uh, like a peachy color in fluorescent lighting. Can't remember right off. So with handles, everybody, you've got to be really intentional with fusing the base into the base of the handle into the body of the piece, because that's what's going to take the most abuse when it gets dropped at a concert. And yes, I use bill biters. Again, I'm just sort of about speed and efficiency with my creations. I really want I want my price point to be as low as possible, so that includes doing some things like using bail biters and using Colorado Color Company's Dicro and all these little kind of shortcuts and whatnot to help speed things up for everybody so I can be as inexpensive as possible. I use my diamond shears. <clears throat> oh, so I'm all done. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you can see it pretty well in there. It's kind of hard. I've got a uh, didymium filter on the camera, so it's kind of it's kind of darker. So I snapped off the piece. Just kind of pushing some heat into the back so that I can flatten it and give it a nice, nice backside. So we get pancake ass. Uh, well, so we're about done. Actually, we are just regular done. It is, shed some light on it. I'll uh, try to show you a video once it cools off. Thanks, guys. All right. Hey, good morning, guys. So the last video you saw me make um, a couple of dichroic cloud pieces, and so now that they're all cooled off, I thought I might show you the final product. Uh, so yeah, we are outside, and as you can see, in natural lighting, it. Uh, does wonders for the pieces. Here's the blue one I made. Nice little purpley teal color world in there. And uh, the other one was this nice teardrop shape. As you can see, very different spectrum dichro used in this one. Uh, and so that white border gives a nice separation between the background and the lens. Uh, some of the others I made in the same setting. Um, this one has uh, amber purple lids on it with uh, a color that I mixed myself for the handle. We have a slime handle here, um, a nice centered cloud. So these two eyes here with these translucent kind of charcoal lids, these are color changing glass. So uh, when you're outside or in LED lighting, it is this charcoal translucent color. But in fluorescent lighting, it definitely strikes more of a purple. Um, I decided to use brown for the lids on this one. Um, nice earth tone, it allows the inside to really stand out. Um, all these have the same same galaxy black backer on it. Um, so there's the group. Thank you.